Have you ever had your genes tested with 23andMe or Ancestry.com? Have you ever had your genes tested? Both. <laughs> yes, and, and what did you find out? Where do you come from? So it basically validated what we already knew. I come from Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. and my, all my family comes from Eastern Europe, and now when I go online, I run into the same four cousins. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, so you're not doing a ton with it. It's interesting no. information. It's good to know. Yeah. I descend from a Moroccan pirate, in fact. That's my most interesting. Seriously? I do, and Vikings. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> That's why I'm so well, tough. Yeah, you are <laughs> fierce. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, but I've also wondered, you know, what can I do with my genetic information? Yeah. And today I am so pleased to introduce you to Jeff Tuttle, who is the CEO of Live International. They have a product called Live Genetics that not only will tell you what your gene makeup is, but also tell you what you can do with it. I love some that. actionable things you can do, you know, with diet and exercise to live your best life. So thank you so much for joining My us, My pleasure. Jeff. Thank you. It is so nice to have you on the show, and I've just been super excited to learn more about, first of all, how did you get started? Well, as a, as a scientist, I've always be, I've been formulating products, nutritional products, for the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. And what was interesting, I found that some products work for some people. Mm -hmm. Some would yeah. take the same products, follow the same protocol, and it's like, they did, well, these don't work for me. Mm -hmm. And I'd say, well, you know, they must be cheating. Mm -hmm. Or there must be something else yeah. going on with that. And, and then I would go to the gym, and I would see people exercising, and people just working out like crazy. Some were huge, and I thought, oh, they must go home and pizza after yeah, and everything yeah. else. And, and others would get extremely fit. Others would build muscle, and I thought, something, there's more to this yeah. than just what we're, you know, yeah. than, than going to the gym. And so I started looking at the genetic aspect of nutrition and tried to come up with some simple answers that we could all use. Mm, I think that's so, so exciting. How does this compare to the, the blood type test? There was, because those same things back in the day, I yeah. guess it was like 10, 15, 25 mm -hmm. years ago, I sure. don't remember, that was really popular and they said they, they could tell you then. Right, and, and blood, blood types, your blood changes over time. Mm -hmm. And so blood type, you know that we've all looked at also the body shape you know mm -hmm. remember when they go through are you pear shaped are you apple shaped and mm -hmm. based on yeah. that you need a diet we looked at you know there have been so many people that have tried to decide what is the ideal how many diets are there out there right oh now my i gosh. mean as yeah. many as there are people yeah That's and so right. blood type was a way of trying to de find a way and, and it was probably a little bit step closer to genetics mm -hmm. because you're looking at the actual makeup of the body but um, really when you get down to it, you know, we're all about genes and, and we are different genetic makeups and that really is what affects us and, and uh, what we can design products and design a, a workout program for people based on their actual genetics. I, love I just that. think that's so cool. And the other thing too, is for, our, um, for our viewers, in preparation for this segment, <laughs> we, Lauren and I, swabbed our cheeks, put them in a little tube, we sent them over indeed. to Live Genetics, and they came back with a report on our best diet and exercise. And we were, well, at least I was convinced that we were going to be polar opposites Me on too. everything. But Me Jeff, too. you say that's not quite true. No, some things are very different and some things are pretty similar. For example, your exercise regimen, as I looked at the two reports, fairly close. Wow. Um, you know, my wife and I, if we would do the same exercise, either I would be fat and she would be skinny or she would be fat and I would be skinny because mm -hmm. our exercise regimen is completely opposite. Interesting. And, uh, and, and so when, really when you talk about exercise right, regimen, do you mean that like based on what our genetics are, you can tell like whether we've been exercising or not? No. No. So <laughs> what does this mean? What does well, this mean? Well, maybe, it's maybe, not now, <laughs> yeah, perhaps, <laughs> perhaps the re some of the results. But what we do is we try to make this very simple. We do do, eat, and take. Okay. That's, that's it. That's all our genetics what we do. do. What we do, our what exercise. We eat what we eat, and then what, and what supplements or what kinds of nutritional things we need to help balance and to help stimulate our genetics. Because our genetics really are work by stimulus. Okay, mm -hmm. If you were to take a flashlight and to shine it in your ear, you, it wouldn't work. 
right? Right. But uh, so what do Depends people what you're do? Looking for, what do I guess. people do? <laughs> what do people do? They get a bigger flashlight. Okay, it's not working this way. So I'm going to get a oh, now I'll get a giant light. And uh -huh. no, what you need, if you shine it in your eye, it works every time. The first time that stimulus activates I your see eye. What you're I see. So yeah. basically, we have genes that are activated by certain stimuli, whether that be what we're eating, doing, or taking. And so we need to work with those genes and then it works every time all the time that's wow. so cool okay so how many genes do you measure so we actually just look at four specific genes oh, okay and we do full sequencing we read that we simply we extract it then we amplify it then we read it forwards and backwards mm -hmm. so that we get 99 percent plus accuracy that's to me is critical yeah. some of the other genetics tests are about 95 percent well if i want to do this one time in my life yeah i want it to be 99 percent plus accurate absolutely and so that's that's why ours is a little more expensive you can go get your genes tested with the the, the snip analysis it's a little less okay. expensive but for me it's all about accuracy and then actionable items yeah but just let me put a plug in here it's actually when you consider that you can go to a personal trainer like three times it's like going to a personal trainer three times yeah. is what this is that's true it's not expensive no. to be able to get the kind of information true. that you need so why yeah. those four genes those four genes have been related to the things that we need to eat do and take okay. uh, mm -hmm. you know i mean caffeine sensitivity there's a gene that's related to that it's okay and it's fun to know about whether i am a caffeine metabolizer or not but it's, it's not going to do something. Maybe I might not drink caffeine late in the evening because of that. But for me, mm -hmm. eat, do, and take. Those are the, those are the keys okay, for me. Okay. So um, what is, what's Lauren's? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let, so let's look. Do you want to look yeah, at the report? Yeah, let's look at our okay. report. So sure, let's sure. look at this the report. Really cool. If you okay. go to the do section, go to okay. the first part of the do section. And right. you can look at... Um, okay, so here's the. I'm going to show the camera this. Okay. This is the. This is. These are the kinds of charts that you get back. This is the optimal exercise. Here's what's interesting about this. Your body doesn't know what type of exercise you're doing. Okay. It's all about heart rate. Oh it's wow. It's all about getting yourself into the into the training zone. So if you look at Amy's, Amy says she should do 50-50, 50, 50, 50 mm -hmm. high intensity, 50 low intensity, and I think Lauren yours is 60 40. Yeah. Is it 60, 40 high mm -hmm. or low? 60, low, 40 high. Okay, so 60, low, 40 high. I'm 70, 30, low. And what's interesting is I play a lot of volleyball. Mm -hmm. And when I was running to get in shape, it didn't work for mm -hmm. me because I was doing all high intensity. Oh my gosh, that's so So I got back and started doing volleyball and I, was in be I felt better. I didn't have burned out joints and uh, things just worked out better for me. So okay. what you so need to do is pick an exercise you love to do. Because you know what? You're not going to do something you don't like to do. That's what I've always so said. So pick mm, what you like so to do. True. And then, you know, even uh, like my wife, she likes to walk. And so when she wants to get into the high intensity zone because she needs high intensity, mm -hmm. she'll speed up and mm -hmm. walk a little faster for a while, get that heart rate where it needs to mm -hmm. be. And then she knows what zone she needs to be in. And it's all about just heart rate monitor. And those are, Got you know, it. everybody has a heart rate monitor sure. now. That is really, really cool. And I, I also love that. love that it tells you how many times a month. Mm -hmm. And yep. for, so instead of working out seven days a week, which right. is usually overkill and puts more, st puts more, more stress yeah, on the body, right. then it's all the stuff you're talking about, it makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those people that love to lift weights, lift them faster, get your heart rate up and just go mm -hmm. through your circuits a little bit quicker. Uh, those people that like to walk, walk a little faster. Or if you need to slow down a little bit, Slow down mm -hmm. and do it. Uh, do it what, to get you zone. go to the gym. I right? do. I go. And with what do my, you do at the gym? Um, I go with my daughter, and we. I. I like to do more cardio. So this is really interesting to me because I. I like to do more cardio, when I'm there, and she loves weightlifting, and so I go with her because she's a senior in high school, and she's going to be gone soon. So I. I just follow her around. I'm like, I'll do whatever you want, and yeah, so we go good. do a lot of weightlifting. And um, I've really come to enjoy it. I mm -hmm. had never really done it before. What's so. interesting, look at your thing. 50-50. You is. should do 50 cardio, 50 it uh, weight lifting. It's and really interesting to see that. Resistance training kind of mm -hmm. thing. So, yeah, yeah, that's very cool. You're doing the right thing for yourself. Yeah, there. it's really exciting. That's okay, cool. so this next page is called yeah. Implementation. And so this is basically just kind of another example of the high and low intensity yeah, and it just it's a, there's a good explanation about heart rate monitoring mm -hmm. and what you need to do and and how that all works mm -hmm. there are a lot of little 
um, explanations within the report. Mm -hmm. So you don't just get a report that says, you know, go exercise 50-50. It tells you why. It tells you where your genes, mm -hmm. um, how they react to that. Mm -hmm. and, and you here, even and give us a schedule. workout worksheet. Yep. Sure. The and schedule. you can pick whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. you know? But that's a really great, it, it, it's great that it shows, you know, it's like about every other day and then you alternate high and low for me. Yeah, and yeah that's, that's really And you helpful. can com combine them also. Now, what's mm -hmm. interesting is a lot of people say, I'll do it on my own, but other people say, tell me exactly what to do. I don't wanna, I don't wanna guess, I wanna know exactly mm -hmm. what to do. So what we've done in here is, this is a good example of what you can do as an example but as we get into the next section, we'll look at diet, and it's yep. mostly to let people know what portion sizes are, mm -hmm. what would work, and then follow what works for you. That's, okay. the, that's the most important thing for me. So let's get into the next one, which is eat. Yes. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it, well, tell me what's carb sensitivity and fat sensitivity. When you say sensitivity, what does that mean yeah. exactly? Carb sensitivity and fat sensitivity is how your body can process carbs and fats, mm. okay? And so somebody with a high sensitivity, they utilize fats really well. Mm -hmm. Somebody with high, so, so if they, sorry, high fat sensitivity, they'll use fats very well. High carb sensitivity, their body processes carbs very well. And so an excess of carbs, they'll start putting on fat. Mm -hmm. Excess of fat, they'll start putting on fat. If you have a lower sensitivity, which, you know, if we we're back in the pioneer days and, or, you know, in, uh, in, a, in a starvation mode, mm -hmm all the people with the high fat and carb sensitivity would be the ones that die and the ones with the low sensitivity are sorry they would be the ones that live and the mm -hmm. ones with the low sensitivity would be the ones that would probably Not pass away it. yeah they wouldn't make it so That's so the really sensitivity means just how your body processes okay. fats and carbs okay so i process it medium yep and so and then you can look at the bottom right below there there's the percentage of people in the total population you know this has been tested on over 10,000 people so there's a pretty good number of people that have mm -hmm. had this test but you can look at the percentages that fall in that category mm. okay and so yes yeah, so all right so you and I both have medium carb sensitivity medium carb mm -hmm. sensitivity that's so pretty that's normal pretty average yeah and mm -hmm. I'm high on fat sensitivity you're medium which means that I need to eat less fat yeah it, it typically just watch out mm -hmm. for your fat especially your saturated mm -hmm. fat levels just mm -hmm. just be a little bit careful and uh, and so somebody with that with that profile would have a tendency to put on more fat. Then, Interesting, you know, so. okay. Got it. And so then the, the recommendations for me are the same like for me. the same. 30% mm -hmm. fat, 35% protein, and 35% carbohydrate. Yeah, now the reason that differs is because based on age, which we also put into there, mm -hmm. and based on your other genes, how you burn fat, and what your exercise type is, that also goes into effect on what your, your balance of your protein, fat, and carbohydrates. And interesting. that's interesting, because I tend toward way lower carbs. Mm -hmm. And I Maybe get, you don't need to. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe I could add them back in. I, I think, without a problem, mm -hmm. um, but I think mostly the processed carbs, what we get with carbs are a lot of processed foods now, typically, mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. diet, so those tend to be a problem. Yeah. And what we find with most people is their protein level is way too low. Interesting. And so, so uh, I'm like that, a protein hog. Does it, does that's it great. say? <laughs> that's really good. I can't get enough I know protein. You are, I you are really I good at I eat a lot that. of protein. Yeah, that's great. So, um, does it say on here, like, what... What to eat? What to so eat? you can go to the next couple next, of pages, yeah, okay. and there actually there's actually a diet f that is based on your profile. It kind of tells you, gives okay. you a sample diet. It's a couple oh, of pages with a sample diet. Go. If you want to lose some weight, if you want to just maintain your weight. Um, but this one before with the macros, macros it tells you what to lean toward. Right. So oh, for yeah. you know lean meats, fish, poultry, or mm -hmm. in the carb field, fruits, okay. vegetables. Okay. So then this. So you guys, you guys, mm -hmm. like we're all in the same room, right? <laughs> okay. There's that, and yeah. then this is the sample, sample diet. Sample diet. Yeah. This is Which great. Which is very just, cool. Yeah, because some people say again, tell me what to do, and, and then do also it. portion sizes. We tend to not realize what portion sizes really are. So yeah. there's a whole explanation of Measuring your food there. makes all the difference yeah. in the it world, really doesn't does, it? It really does, doesn't it? It's like you can cut out half the calories. I mean, I, yeah. I stand there in the kitchen looking at that chicken breast <laughs> saying, that, that, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, maybe this is this big to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish I had a bigger fish. That's yeah. really funny. <laughs> Well, one thing I love about this, though, is that it's so personalized. And I love the way that you've combined 
amazing technology without sacrificing the personal experience. I think yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's right? great. And so I really love that you've done this as well. And um, yeah, just as far as portion sizes go, I've lately found myself ordering kids meals. Yeah, mm, and smart. Because like it's half of the mm -hmm. amount. And then I'll, you know, then I'll piece off my husband's afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? Probably if you actually measured the portions, it's probably a better portion size is about yeah. a kid's size. Yeah. Because most of the portions in restaurants are just way Gigantic. too large. Right. Yeah, right. that's right. Oh, this is so interesting. But this take portion, so this really is where you guys started. You were a supplement yeah. company. Yeah, and, and for me, that's that was answered the big question for me. The other was gravy. I was like, wow, this is great information, mm -hmm. and I've used it personally. I've used it with my family members. You know, we get our grandkids tested, and guess what? They have a road map for their whole life. Yeah. Mm, They're not going to, their genetics are not going to change. Yeah. But the take portion is really fun because there are, as I mentioned about the flashlight in your mm -hmm. eye, it works. Mm -hmm. There are certain um, plant nutrients that activate specific genes, and you can read through the reports, but because uh, it gets kind of technical there, but there's a lot of technical explanation of how they actually work. You know, mm -hmm. polyphenols, which are uh, plant-based ingredients actually stimulate genes, a certain one gene which helps us burn fat. And mm -hmm. we have branched-chain amino acids. You know, you hear about the BCAAs mm -hmm. from the bodybuilders and how those are so great. How do they work? Well, they actually work with your genetics and they mm, actually help your so body burn free fatty acids and build muscle. So. You know, like now that, now that we're talking about it, it seems obvious, right? It seems obvious that we're all different, our genes are all different. And so the way that we react to certain chemicals mm -hmm. and nutrients would be different. And I had never really thought of that yeah. before. It was really interesting. But our behaviors are so influenced by lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I mean, the diet you grew up with is very different than the diet I grew up with. Right. And then the whole physical activity level. Frozen so all the things that pizza all the way. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I grew up on. Um, yep. Saturday nights we had Swanson frozen dinner. That was oh. about the only there frozen thing. Otherwise my mother cooked. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was, it's just interesting how it all evolved. Mm -hmm. um, but what I love, I, I also love anything that gives me a picture of a gene yes. and tells me, here, we can yeah. show the camera yeah, that one. That's right. So that, that basically is the map of your genes, how they were read, and what they, what they mean. And, so, and those are specific to a person. We also have a guide that we'll send out that explains the various gene combinations uh, when they get their report. And, and just so people can say, well, you know, how, if I were different, how would it be different? Mm -hmm. And so different supplements, you'll see the different supplements. Because genes um, don't change. No, they right? don't. Mm -hmm. They don't. Yeah. So tell us about what's here on the table, because oh, okay. we've got a mix of some of your products. Yeah. These are really interesting. So like mm -hmm. just in here, it's talking about how um, like where it talks about like you're shaped like an apple or shaped like a pear. This gene right here is saying that I don't accumulate as much fat in my stomach. It would be more in the thighs and the hips. And that is true. Like when I gain weight, I gain it there first. Mm -hmm. And it's so crazy that like my gene, you're, you can tell from my gene. That and that we hadn't even met before this. I mean, so. <laughs> <laughs> Scary that he knows all that about oh, you already. <laughs> Oops, wait, he knows it about me too. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, so basically what we get when, when the people come in, they will order this kit and it just comes, it's a real simple kit, has the instructions, has a swab, you just swab it your cheek, which you did. It could not have been easier. It it's took three easy. seconds. Yeah. It comes, what I loved was the prepaid, you stick it in your mailbox oh, yeah. and it mm -hmm. goes right to you. I love that. It goes that. right to us, goes right mm -hmm. to the lab, then we analyze it. Mm -hmm. So pretty simple, straightforward. Some of the supplements, this is a unique one. We talked a little bit about this one. This is lean. This is a conjugated linoleic acid. It's actually extracted from safflowers. And there is only 20% of the population that has a specific gene that will work with this product. And so I said, I really don't want to, you know, I'm making a product that only works for 20% of the population, but it does work for those 20%. And so um, it, it's a great, it's a great it's product. Me. So yeah, and yes, Amy, Amy yeah. is one of those twenty percent. She was definitely yeah. the winner there. <laughs> okay, so like, what does this do for me? It's it's part you have like an alanine variant, right? Yeah, you it's saying? alanine variant okay. on a specific gene, and when you have that variant, that taking this help. conjugated this linoleic acid will help you burn fat and lose weight. Dude, I am so, You're so in. It's, it's really cool. So is there a mad, so is there a holy grail in here for me? So <laughs> one that works for a lot of people are the polyphenols in the green tool. It's uh -huh. a it's a drink you put it in 32 ounces of water. It's flavored with peppermint oil or lemon oil. Oh, we just really use all like natural that. oils. 
it has electrolytes in and it. And that replace those, your Mountain Dew? You know what? I, you know what? It actually, we get a lot Maybe of people that do that. And the reason they would drink a lot of Mountain Dew was because of the caffeine. I yeah, mean, just because they I need that. The yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what we found, I have a, another product we didn't bring here, but it's called Live Skinny. And it has a little bit of caffeine, but then it's all natural. So you can get that little bit of caffeine Ooh, that you want, that's that's right. but it's naturally flavored with lemon oil or mint oil and mm -hmm. uh, gives you electrolytes. It gives you, again, ingredients that stimulate specific genes to burn fat and to help lose weight. And the 32 and, ounces of water that you should and be 32 drinking ounces anyway. Of water is great. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I should yeah. be. That's right. Okay, and, uh, Lauren's trying sorry, to keep me alive. Sorry, I'm just, my, yeah, I do, <laughs> no, I, do, I do need you to stay alive. That yeah. is true. That is my <laughs> sole agenda here. Yeah. And, and the Go, the, the Go product is our one that a lot of bodybuilders do, but it's design, it was originally designed for a circulatory system because it helps your body build nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator, helps increase uh, peripheral circulation. But mm -hmm. we found that some of the branch chain amino acids in that product also help with, um, with building muscle. Interesting. And so great after a workout because after you work out, you know, you don't want to go drink that Gatorade because what you do, you you're just replacing the sugar, replacing right. the sugar. And what yeah. we want to do is burn those free fatty acids. Wow. And that's where you want to have protein right after you work out a yes. good shot of protein. We have a, another, oh, we have a protein product that's instant protein mixes up really quickly. But so, so with this though, is is it good for someone who has trouble with circulation in absolutely. general? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, this so whether we, they work out or really not, good. that would be helpful. My, I'm yeah. getting my dad that, he has circulation problems. If, if uh, We've had a lot of people, especially with circulatory issues associated with diabetes mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. kinds of things that a cold hands and feet. Oh, that's uh, me. Uh, those cold kinds hands of and feet. Oh, okay. It works great, awesome. so yeah. Socks to bed, that. baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, and we also, you know what, when they get the test, we've just done a thing where we send out a little Live Genetics bottle. It's a water bottle. They can mix the products in. Uh -huh. Some samples of product. It's like $50 in product that we send out to them just Great. to let them try some product. Now, mm -hmm. one of the things important is, although we're a supplement company, this to me is so important that as you read your report, it doesn't say, go buy my product. Right. Right. What it basically says is that these are the active ingredients that you need. Get them from blueberries, get them from grapes, get them from drinking wine, get them from wherever you want to get those nutrients from. And then if you want an easy way, we have some supplements yes, associated gotcha. with that because I really feel that this has enough information that people can really change their lives with it. Absolutely, and I really like the fact that that you've done that, that it's like not a hard sell to push supplements, mm -hmm. that it's like an actual just packet of information yeah. that can help us live our better lives. Yeah. So I really and appreciate it. And we are grateful, and thank you for running our tests, and oh, we thanks. knew it would be an awful lot of fun to compare, and I'm frankly just surprised at all the similarities. Me yeah. <laughs> so too. I guess we'll both live longer. Yes, we will. <laughs> We're, I'm gonna have to change over to my diet Mountain Dew, and uh, we'll start doing some low intensity walking. Okay, we can okay. do that. <laughs> and so, Jeff, the website is? www.livegenetics.com. Okay, and people can find all the information yeah, they and, need right and there. And in fact, uh, we'll probably have a special as we launch this. We'll have a special. If they go online, they can look at it. We're looking at doing a, a really nice discount oh, for the people wonderful. who listen to this. Thank you. Just because we want people, it's so fun to do, and we just want people to get out there yeah. and do it. And so we want to make it as affordable as possible. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. So we okay. will, okay, so we will have a code for this to go out for a discount thank you so much and then what if somebody has a question they want to like talk to a person how do they get in sure they people? can there we can have a Q&A there we'll have a place they can look at it on, on live genetics and they can send us emails um, and, and go from yeah, there go from okay yeah. all right yeah. thank, thank you, so you for much. and you know what actually they can call us 877-449-9666 and get right in touch with us and I'm happy to talk to anybody if they have questions amazing That's great thank so, you so much thanks. for joining us my pleasure us. thank you we'll be right back